Hello everyone, welcome to the Go Eduhub online video tutorials. In this course, we are going to understand how to program PLC. So, I am an industrial automation expert having 4 years experience in this field. I will try that you will understand every concept that is related with PLC programming. Okay. So, here in this course, in order to understand PLC programming, we are going to use Fuji PLC. Okay. And that model number, as you can see, we are going to use is WAZ24MF. Okay. And that software that we are going to use is WinPro Leader for WSZ PLC. Okay. So that software that we are going to use is WinPro Leader for WSZ. Okay. It is it has compact structure. Okay. So the slender design not only saves mounting space but allows the entire system, including a distribution panel and control box, to downsize. So this is the feature of Fuji PLC that we have WSJ 24MA so it has compact structure which will reduce the panel size ok so the combination of WSJ controller Fuji servo system and HMI enables to reduce wiring simplify control and maximize performance so here if you are using Fuji's drives or servo system and Fuji's HMI so it will be very easy to wire Okay. Then your WSZ24MA have high performance with system on chips that is SOC WSZ controller realized integration of powerful features such as 3 high speed communication ports, 4 sets of hardware high speed counters timers, 4 access of high speed pulse output for NC positioning control with linear interpolation or dynamic tracking 16 high speed interrupts or captured inputs so these are the specification or features of WSZ24 MA PLC it has high speed counters 3 high speed communication ports and 16 high speed interrupts that we can use in programming later we will see what is this thing so that course content that we are going to cover in the software introduction to WSJ24MA PLC then what is the PLC ok how a PLC works how to program PLC how to make logic in PLC programming the concept of NO and NC switches Introduction to WinPro Leader for WSJ, the concept of latching and unlatching, timer and counter instructions, increment and decrement instruction, data transfer instruction, comparison instruction, arithmetic instructions, program control functions, and we have problems with solutions. So, in every topic, you will find example that will be helpful in order to clear the concept of that particular topic so who can do this course so plc programmers those who wants to program fuji plc they can do then electrical engineers industrialists working engineers application engineers maintenance technicians okay so this will be helpful in order to enhance their career what will you benefit from this course so we can see that day by day productivity has been increased and our demand is also increasing we want whatever product we are purchasing it will be best in quality and it will be cheapest okay so if we do production with manual process it will not be feasible so we have another option that is automation so, in order to start career as an automation engineer, it will be better if we learn how to program PLC. So, as I told you, PLC is the brain in most of the industrial automation process. Okay. So, now we will see where we are using automation. Okay. So, in every industry, we need automation systems. So, here we have list of industries where automation is used. Okay. 
that is oil and gas sector machine tools manufacturing industries power plants chemical and pharma process industries food industries automobile industries irrigation systems and engineering services etc okay. so after doing this course you will program a plc from scratch okay as well as you can install that plc because i will tell you how to wire plc in this course okay so it will be helpful in your career enhancement thank you for watching